most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When I'm talking about these things in an audio cast, I'm literally saying to you, look, in order to make your life last, you have to learn how to produce a living. To produce a living, you have to know how to market yourself. You need to know how to handle social media accounts, both, both online and, frankly, offline. You see, it's our local relationships, our local networks that really help people in life. I can relate a silly little story of today that was such a joy to see. I had actually met two girls separately, both of them are marvelous little puppies, and they're about a month apart in their age in terms of the puppies, and the girls are probably about the exact same age. So what I did was start to talk to both of them about each other's puppies and encourage them to meet each other. And I said, look, you live right across the street from each other. For God's sakes, talk to each other, and maybe the puppies will enjoy spending time with each other. What I got to see as I came around the corner walking up the street was that Bo's puppies were having the best time ever playing all over each other, and the girls were having a marvelous time talking. So I simply played in and encouraged them, and then I played out because as an old guy, I don't, a guy, guide, an old guy and an old geezer, if you will, I didn't have to be a part of those conversations of those 20-year-old girls. But I was excited to see that the puppies were liking each other. Then I saw another girl that I know down the way who's got a marvelous little dog named Oliver who's also in the same kind of age demographic of the other puppies. I thought, well, at some point I need to introduce her to the others so that they can put themselves together to make that late-night uh, dog-walking group like and click like I used to have with my neighbor, Mary Jo. We had a marvelous time going in different places and walking with her dogs. And even though I didn't have a dog, I got to hold one of her dogs and we went on the go. But what I'm talking about is networking. And during that time that we walked, Mary Jo would advise me because she was a seasoned woman in business, a seasoned educator, and she helped me on many situations that I was stuck on. And I really appreciated that. The truth is that in life we need networks, and the networks are a tribe of 12. Just like Jesus said, we have to have a tribe of 12 people that can help to market us, help to promote us, help to help us do our job, and we have to do that in life. We can't sit around thinking that we're just going to be able to do it all by ourselves. The woman that I'm in love with is a fantastic marketer. She's amazing in front of a presentation or a crowd, and I really know that her soul is really out loud. What I love about that is that her humor, her wisdom, her wit, and everything about her. My other girlfriend, who's incredibly graceful, incredibly wise, is a bit older than me, but I miss her just the same. What I'm, of course, talking about is networking, but the networking is not the point. The point of networking is discovering other people's strengths. Discovering other people's weaknesses sometimes occurs, too, but as a relational person, you simply overlook those little miscarriages, mis miss benefits, or whatever disadvantages, and you go on in life. You focus on the positive, right? And didn't we learn that uh, some from some Jimmy the Cricket song or something like that as children? I can't remember. Or maybe it was Danny Kaye that sang those words. But the point is that in life, when you're committing identity crime, when you're committing identity theft, you're literally saying that God hasn't done enough for me. God hasn't created enough in me. And that's a lie. God has created everything you need to be in your life. But if you're not playing right, if you're not doing things right, if you're lying, you're stealing, you're cheating other people from their life, from their benefits, from their money, you're going to really go to hell in life. And it may not be right now, but it's going to come up and bite you in the ass. And it will really cause you to have a lot of loss in life.